Welcome back to another episode of Daily Fortnite, your daily podcast about Fortnite. I'm your host, Mikey, a.k.a. Mike Daddy, a.k.a. Magnificent Mikey. And today, uh, we have a couple of things to talk about. The first thing I want to go over is this return quest refresh update that we talked about. Well, we briefly mentioned. Let's go actually... Uh, go over the actual details of this. So return to quest in Fortnite will now refresh over time. Hi all, starting today with the release of version 18.20, lifetime return requests have become simply return requests. So what's different? In cases where you would like to return an item purchased with V-Bucks, you have three return requests. If you use one, it will refresh 365 days following the most recent return request that was refreshed up to a maximum of three return requests. Only items purchased with V-Bucks within the last 30 days are eligible for refund. Consumable items such as the battle pass, battle pass levels, or llamas are not returnable. Uh, return requests are available via the account and privacy menu. If you made a return request before the release of version 18.20, you've received one additional return request with the update. Thank you for playing Fortnite. Uh, so, uh, let's see here. So, it's whatever your most recent return request is. So, for example, uh, here they, uh, they, they have a, a graphic in the blog post uh, assuming that you've already root used one, uh, and, uh, you know, if you used one that day, you wouldn't, you'd have to wait a whole another year for it to refresh for one of those to come back, but you can wait the 365 days and one will come back to you and, you know, and you could uh, have zero and go back up to one, uh, or you could have one and go back up to two, or two and go back up to three. But you can you can have three in total. So that's how that's going to work. Uh, but if you use one on say today, October thirteenth, and like in the uh, graphic here, they show October twenty fourth. So say you use one on the thirteenth, and you think, oh, I'll have another one refresh uh, in two thousand twenty two on October thirteenth. Well, if you use one on October 24th, uh, you know, year of 2021, the next one's not going to uh, come back to you until 2022 on October 24th. It's whatever the last one was uh, that you used, the date of the last one. Uh, so, you know, if you had, <laughs> if you uh, had waited like, 364 days and then you decided that was when you wanted to use uh then <laughs> you would end up basically waiting two years before you had one refresh uh because it's from the last one <laughs> it's from the last one you use uh okay so let's see here let's see here uh so i guess basically make sure you use those wisely uh, the other piece of news that we want to go over is the creative update. So let's go over that now. The Fortnite creative version 18.20 update, new character device and signal remote and manage device. The version 18.20 update is bringing the new character device, signal rem remote manage device, additional device updates, and bug fixes. For character device, the new character device is here and brings some amazing new functionality for creators to explore. The character device is a mannequin that creators can use to display NPCs on your island. NPCs will be configurable in a variety of ways, including setting their customization, choosing their pose, and performing emotes on command. Additionally, players can use it as an interactable NPC in their game, having players interact with it to trans mit signals read more details on the character device and the device updates on section below and on the fortnite creative documentation website so the signal remote and manager device the new signal remote and manager device allows creators to link a remote control item up wait uh, yeah 
a remote control item to up to two transmitters each, which are then activated by players in-game via the remote. For example, a player activates the remote to send a signal on a channel that teleports them back to their base area. Read more details on the signal remote manager device in the device update section below and on the Fortnite Creative's documentation website. They have a switch device. The switch device is a button that can be toggled between on and off states, allowing players to turn things on and off through a single device. It can save state it can save state either for everyone at once or individual players and can be saved, loaded across different sessions. Read more details on the Switch device in the device updates section below and on the Fortnite Creative do Documentation website. Battle Royale items. We've added the following Battle Royale, Battle Royale items to Creative. The Chili Chug Splash, Chug Splash, Shadow Flopper, and they added Armored Wall Trap. Uh, let's see here. So here is the device update. So the character device, place a character, choose an outfit for it, then select the pose you want. This can be used to place NPCs, display outfits, or create a vignettes. Includes options for character. Define what character you want to show for the device. Select from a wide variety of outfits from Jonesy and Ramirez all the way up to Phoenix and Nightwatch. Pose. Set a pose that the character will be placed in. Emote. Set an emote for character to play. This will be activated when character receives a signal on the play emote when receiving from the channel. Interact type. Allow players to interact directly with your character. Okay, let's get into the details of the Switch device. The Switch device is a button that can be toggled on and off, sending signals based on its new state. Can, it can optionally track have a unique state per player, making it great to keep track of if a player has completed a certain task. It can load, it can save and load to persist across game session, gameplay sessions in published islands. It has multiple options for how to resolve the current state of the switch if you have many players loading different states and the switch is tracking the same state for everyone. It has different different visuals to select from so you can match it to the style of your island. Okay, in the Signal Remote and Signal Remote Manager, the Signal Remotes allow players to transmit signals without having to interact with the device. Simply equip your signal and press either Primary Fire or Secondary Fire to send one of two signals. What channels are transmitted is defined by the Signal Remote Manager. Simply place a Remote Manager in game. Drop your preferred remote in, then select channels for each input. You, you require a signal remote manager linked to a remote before it will send signals. You can also set a cooldown time for how often players can activate that remote. Uh, there are currently four, rarity, four rarities of remotes available, allowing players to send up to eight signals directly. The SkyDome device, we've updated the SkyDome device to add the following options, clouds uh, and ambient light, uh, and a moon too. Tracker device now allows for multiple quests to be shown on the HUD at once to help facilitate quests that take multiple sessions to resolve. In this update, up to three quests are to be displayed in the top left HUD. Uh, we have a UFO spawner, now has its own unique base. Uh, they have device fixes, uh, the prefab and gallery updates, primitive shapes, gallery update. We've added seven primitives to the gallery that are six times larger than the previous primitives. We also added three new materials to the primitives, chrome, iridescent, and world grid. They added dark red curtains, drapes, and rug to spooky prop gallery B. We have prefab and gallery fixes, the island update. They added two new islands, Survival Island, a balanced island with limited resources, and Survival Island Empty, a balanced island with no foliage. Uh, and then for island, uh, we got island fixes, gameplay updates, the bandaged bazooka now shows up as a ranged weapon in the creative consumables tab. Uh, they fix an issue that caused conditional buttons to fail in sending signal even when disabled. 
Uh, and then they have some gameplay fixes and the UI updates. So the HUD info type is ranked, is added. The all devices tab of the channel browser is now sorted alphabetically. And that is your creative update for version 18.20. So check it out. Uh, I know that my son and I have some great ideas for some things to be in creative. We uh, came up with, um, we were inspired by something that... Uh, it's going to, you know, that we're going to make some YouTube videos uh, for. Uh, something inspired us to make some YouTube videos is what I'm trying to say. And uh, and it's something that we're going to do in creative. So I'm really excited actually about some of these new items that they added in because it's going to, I think, make the ideas that we have even better with being able to add some of these uh, characters in and also at being able to have them as NPCs. Uh, really excited. Okay, so uh, let's keep going on here with the rest of this show. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the LTMs and what we have in the LTMs today. Prison Breakout Become Kevin, Tiny Town Halloween Power, Zombie Island Haunting, Teddy, Trick or Treat Town, a Resurrection zone wars and a whole lot more to be discovered uh you may have noticed we're about to head over to item shop and you may have noticed that we have the gilded skull trooper the best looks from beyond the grave come gilded in gold so i wanted to mention that before we get to the item shop because uh yesterday they had the reaper harvesting tool and i thought that the card that was flipped over in the in the blog post for the fortune cards i thought that uh that Reaper Harvesting Tool was the card that was flipped over for uh, the Reaper Harvesting Tool that we had yesterday, but that was actually meant to re represent the uh, Skull Trooper. So, uh, yeah, that's what we got added in today, and I definitely got to give a, a shout-out to Tiger Noslin, because if you are watching on YouTube, you may notice that uh, I have Skull Trooper now, and I... I had the Skull, the Skull Ranger before, but I did not have Skull Trooper, and Tyler Noslin uh, gifted that to me today, and I really appreciate that. I mean, I loved both of them. Uh, back in the day, I decided to, you know, go with one or the other, and I went with Skull Ranger. Now I have Skull Trooper, so now I have both of them, so I'm really excited about that, and I will definitely be using this one a ton, so thank you, Tiger Noslin, for that. Now let's head on over to the item shop and see everything that we have in the item shop today. Uh, oh, it looks like we have the Skull Squad pack added back in uh, here as well, and the Crypt Crashers pack. So make sure you guys are checking out the special offers bundles because a lot more of these uh, Halloween uh, special offers that we've had in the past are coming back. Of course, we have the spooky offer section is all still here. Uh, looks like the Walking Dead section still here, and then we have the Scarlet Defender for 800, the Jelly Outfit with the Shelly Backwing for 1,200, the Toozy Slide Emote for 500, the Wiggle Wild Music for 200, the Zany Emote for 500, the Bloomin' Bouquet Emote for 200, the oh wait, let's keep going. Oh, we have Tas Taspio's Locker Bundle, which has the Surf Witch Outfit, Star Power Back Bling. Savor the W emo, gold or bold bar harvesting tool, and the petunia glider for 1,800, 900 off the total. Uh, you have the surf witch outfit with the star power back bling for 1,200. The savor the W emote itself is 500. Bold bar harvesting tool is 500, and the petunia glider is 500. Pretty cool bundle there. Uh, we have the marked man bundle, which has the grimy outfit, glumbo back bling. Uh, Griffitax uh, harvesting tool, uh, the drip dropper glider, Grimule's wrap, and includes the pen and ink pals loading screen for 2,300. 1,300 off the total. If you get them separately, grimy outfit with the glumbo back blings, 1,500. Uh, the Griffitax harvesting tool is 800. The drip dropper glider is 800. The Grimule's wrap is 500. Uh, and then, of course, today, the Skull Trooper outfit with the Skull Trooper Quest so that you can get the additional back bling for it for 1500 Again, thank you, Tiger Noslin. Gotta give you uh, multiple shout-outs for that. I'm really excited to have this one, so thank you again. 
Uh, the Skull Ranger outfit is here for 1200 one that I've had for a long time and I absolutely love. So, again, just really excited to have both of those now. Uh, the Skull Sickle Harvesting Tool is 1200 uh, and that that this is the actual harvesting tool that uh, was on that fortune card. Uh, you know, I thought it was the just the normal Reaper harvesting tool that was in the item shop yesterday, but it was the skull sickle harvesting tool. Uh, we have the grinning ghoul back bling for four hundred, the crypt cruiser glider for one thousand two hundred, uh, the Etheria outfit with the crystal spirit back bling for one thousand two hundred. This is another one uh, that when it came out, I really like the way this one looks as well. Uh, the crystalline battle wand harvesting tool for 800 and yeah that looks like everything today really great item shop love this time of year you can get any and all of these items using code mikey m m m i k i e in the item shop and some of the proceeds will go to help will go to help to support the show Okay, uh, that's actually going to be the episode for today. So make sure you go join that daily Fortnite Discord and hang out with us. Follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. Head over to Apple Podcasts. Leave a five-star rating and a written review for a shout-out on the show. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And until next time, have fun, be safe, and don't get lost in the storm.